Dear racist, when you say go back where you came from or you are taking our jobs, that's another one. You are taking our Just, jobs. You know, you are see you are an enemy unto I'm like <laughs> hang on. Firstly, I didn't come for you. I came for a reason. And once I'm done doing what I came here to do, then I'll consider if I want to go back where I came from. It's not your decision to make. Hi everyone, my name is Kuzini Koma Pierre and on this channel I do videos about my life living here in Australia and I also share different life lessons that I've learned along the way. Um, today I just wanted to have a bit of a chat about something that really really broke my heart and I just wanted to share some things with you that I've observed and also answer some questions um, that I've received from people who have been wanting to come to Australia and they are worried about racism. So I'll just start with something that I watched today that broke my heart. I was watching this show on YouTube and there was a gentleman who was sharing his experience with like racism and intolerance and one of the things that he said was um, a statement that I have heard myself numerous times and I'm sure many others have across the world, like doesn't have to be in Australia, wherever you are, if you are in a foreign country, this you might have heard this statement and that is go back where you came from. I always find that statement very interesting because when I have um, had that statement said to me it's been by someone who has been either angered or they're having just like this fit of rage sometimes I don't even know why or sometimes you know it could be it could be road rage and someone just rolls up their window and they see the color of your skin and they just yell like go back where you came from or whatever and why I find that statement interesting is when it comes to immigrants when we really really search we will find that most of us in different countries even the people who we found in those countries are immigrants I remember some time ago I was doing some research into my own clan um, from Zimbabwe like my tribe where we originally came from and I came across this information on Google that was saying that you know members of my, my ancestors actually immigrated from Tanzania to Zimbabwe many 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 like hundreds of years ago and that means that they came from another country and inhabited a space that was like in another person's country or other people's country and they made a life and I just grew up knowing that I was Zimbabwean, my ancestors were Zimbabwean, I didn't know any different until I came across this information and I was listening to the radio the other day and you know one of the presenters was sharing that you know he did a DNA test on himself and he found that he had like different ancestry inside of him like he was 20% this 1% this 30% that like he comes his ancestors come from different areas but they all ended up here in Australia and he would have grown up thinking he's Australian he's 100% Australian but when he did the DNA test, he found that, you know, he comes from a lot of other different parts of the world. So when it comes to racism, when you say to someone, go back to where you came from. If we were to say that to like, if we were to really say that to everybody who doesn't belong here, that means that no one would be left there will be not no there will be very few people left in whatever country that is that are original like inhabitants of that land like they originated 
from that land because if you really dig deep you might find that you know people migrated from many different parts of the world and another thing that i find interesting is you know one thing i would like to address and i just want to say you know dear racist when you say go back where you came from or you are taking our jobs that's another one you are taking our jobs i find it interesting because you know the borders are open for a reason people from other countries are let in for a reason if you think that the jobs that people are employed in are really your job then i'll just put a challenge to you firstly go and be a doctor before the end of the day stop rush across the road go and be an engineer before you even finish that go back to the hospital and become a nurse before you finish with that patient someone needs you to cook a meal as a chef at the restaurant you ask yourself can you embody all those things if all these jobs that foreigners are doing are really your job how come you're not employed in all of those jobs i think people have this sense of entitlement when they are in different countries and you know i i am speaking not only for australians even from my home country zimbabwe where we used to have foreigners coming into our country and we used to have a sense of entitlement as well thinking oh you know they're taking our jobs or oh, this is for us or whatever like this is <laughs> this is god's world everything belongs to everyone and as long as someone meets the immigration requirements and they're in the country they deserve to be in that country and you know i always think when someone says to me go back where you came from i'm like hang on firstly i didn't come for you i came for a reason and once i'm done doing what i came here to do then i'll consider if i want to go back where i came from it's not your decision to make and if that like it's such an empty statement because usually the people making that statement they're not employed at an immigration office they've got zero authority to tell anybody to go back anywhere like you're not in any office of authority that can stamp something and put someone on a plane the people who do that legitimately do it and they do it the correct way so to just walk around throwing around statements that you know go back where you came from does not make your life any different and also if you are to think about it if your country was so self sufficient then why don't you get everything if you need you don't need anyone from other countries and your country is so self sufficient why don't you only wear eat like buy things made in your country i challenge you if you are to only eat food that was grown and produced manufactured in your country i bet you would have a very unbalanced diet look on the label of the next thing that you eat and look where it was made the next thing that you purchase and look where it was made you will see that it was probably made in another country so we need each other and you know living in a world where we see each other as enemies is really just you know you are see you are an enemy unto yourself because you are being so closed minded and you do not see that for the world to function we need each other and if countries really didn't want foreigners then they should close their borders they know that there are you know immigration laws for a reason there are usually labor shortages there is a problem that needs to be solved and there are willing participants from other countries who come to solve that problem so we are all benefiting from each other and the other thing for those people who are afraid to come specifically to australia because they fear racism i just wanted to give you a bit of an example of a very common story this is a bible story and this is about the children of egypt going into the land of canaan which they called the land of milk and honey you know there were two gentlemen um joshua and caleb that were you know very keen to go into the land and they saw all the opportunity that was there and the other people saw the threats that were there i see racism as one of the threats using that example of egypt 
you know people used to say oh they are giants in that country you know that country was inhabited by other people Canaan was not a vacant country they were other people living in Canaan before the Egyptians got into Canaan so wherever it is your destiny is going to unfold most likely there are already people living in that country but what we should do is focus on the opportunities that we want to see because they said the gentleman who saw the opportunity said you know there are grapes the size of a man's head let us go there at once they're not ignorant of the fact that there were giants in that country they knew that but they were so focused on what they had to gain they were so focused on what they wanted to possess that they didn't worry about whatever threats because they were confident that they had the strength to overcome whatever obstacle comes in their way because they know why they're in that country so if you're wanting to come to Australia and you're worried about racism it's like worrying about the giants in the land of Canaan I can tell you for free that racism does exist and it is there and I have experienced it numerous times but I have also experienced the many opportunities and I have harnessed and embraced and taken advantage of the many opportunities because that is what I am focused on I see that okay there are these giants of racism they are racism is not the only problem by the way <laughs> There are other problems that you face, just like in any other country that you wish to go to. It doesn't even have to be Australia. You can go to any country in the world and you will see that they are giants. They are things that you will have to overcome in order to take possession of what you had your eye on and what attracted you to that country in the first place. So don't worry about what stands in the way. Look, focus on what you have to gain and still be mindful of what you have to face in order to gain it. But if you keep your eye on the prize, your eyes on the prize, you will overcome and you will take possession of those things that you're supposed to take possession of. So just to finish off, I just want to say to all the racists out there, racism is not going to stop immigration. Racism is not going to stop immigrants from prospering and succeeding and taking advantage and harnessing the opportunities that exist in other countries. Saying go back where you came from is a mere empty statement and is definitely not going to hinder me from going after what I want. In, instead of focusing on how different we are, let us look at the advantages. The next time you meet someone, instead of saying go back where you came from or you must be glad you're here have a look at how they make a contribution to the country and you might realize that you are the one who must be glad that they are here so we are all beneficial um, people to each other if we focus on what we have to bring if we focus on who we are together and what we can build instead of where we are what we can do on our own we have this genre proverbs this genre proverb that says that um which means that you know you cannot solve a problem by yourself you need two people to you need like two people two forces to solve a problem you can never solve the problems that are even in your country by yourself. We need each other. So let us not be intolerant. Let us embrace each other. Let us be grateful that we have other countries and look at the things around your house. Read the labels on your clothes. See where they were made. And you will see that, you know, other countries are beneficial to you and they are enriching your life just like you are enriching someone else's life we are all an ecosystem working to the benefit of each other so let us focus on that and how we can be there for each other and uplift each other and let us not be afraid and let us not be deterred by people who are intolerant because at the end of the day they are only intolerant of themselves because an empty statement is not going to change someone's destiny 
an empty statement is not going to change someone's identity so come to australia if you want to come to australia don't be afraid of people who are intolerant because at the end of the day they are grapes the sizes of a man's head <laughs> i'll see you in the next video